Hello and welcome to another video of basic fishing. Now today is a very special video because I am doing an unboxing video. So let's see what's inside the box. Boom! Now obviously these are surf casting gears and um, I have to say this is really cool because um, it's not like a traditional Shimano or Daiwa or Kuma gear. This is actually a German brand and this is their name Bowser Now here is the logo Bowser and a fun fact that logo is a capricale a famous bird that is famous for um, Attacking out of um, sheer aggression in the breeding season It's a grouse species of bird as well. So yeah, that's a really cool fact. I've learned and um I'm really looking forward to see what Bowser has to offer because um, you don't normally hear a lot of like European based brands, especially when it comes to fishing. But I'm really curious to see how this German one fares up in New Zealand waters. The very first rod from Bowser that I'll be looking at is the surf casting rod, 71 degrees north, as you can see here. And um, this is their top surf casting rod that they have available. Now that is how it looks like outside the bag. And already, I really like how it looks. As you can see, it's got these um, anti-tangle guides. Extremely important when you are surf casting with braid. And um, another thing I like to add is that um, this it's made of um, what's made of high molecular carbon, so that means that this is very light. That's the name, and here is the length and the weight capacity. And um, what I like about this rod is that it's got a grip here, so that's ideal, so that when you're casting, it it doesn't slip off your hand. But most importantly, this is very, very light, like, like even the section alone is incredibly light, so I can imagine this being a really, really good surf casting rod. And to match this up, I've got this interesting looking reel. Now this surf casting reel, the, um, well, there, there it is right there. But uh, what's interesting about this reel is that, like the Shimano, like its Japanese counterpart, like Shimano, it's got a slow oscillation system, as you can see when I wind it up and down. It goes very slowly, meaning that um, the line is evenly lined up, so that when you cast that, it gives you a much more smooth and consistent cast due to the, um, the smooth layer. But as you can see, this reel is, um, the spool is tapered, meaning that you get more line at the bottom or less up here so that when it flies up it will add like a better spiral so that it flies through the um the spool with hardly any resistance and it's um <coughs> spooled with uh the iron line braid as well which is um which is what i'm looking forward to use so yep yeah, there's a braid right there and just like this counter um Jap japanese reel it has an instant drag system so right there so yeah this will be quite interesting to use it's only got like eight kilos of drag but that's more than enough that's more than enough to handle against like a race and sharks and those kind of things but honestly I like to avoid <laughs> land hooking onto those so yeah this is probably the most um, interesting piece of equipment I've seen because most reels that you will see aren't designed like this, especially the tapered reel part. Okay, so the second rod that Bowser was more than kind enough to send to me is this one here. The Magnificent Magna Nordic Surf Rod. Now, obviously this is like the um, cheaper version of the one you saw. But in saying that, you can see the difference already, like... It's got the same um, anti-guide system, but the material is built differently. 
as you can see, that is a lot thinner than this one, whereas this one is a bit more beefy and more grunty. But it's made of a different material, slightly cheaper. It's still graphite, so for those who are on a budget but still wants to achieve good distance casting, this is probably a rod for you. But I like the color. Um, I like the coloring because, <laughs> like, because of the color aspect, this will help me to see the um, the rod from a distance. And I've been paired with this reel, the Tactics Power Station, and um, I like. Like this reel is pretty cool, like look at that, very hollow like. And um, it's spooled again with the iron line braid as well. And probably for this piece of equipment I'll probably use it more um, in an area where probably in the east coast area or probably around the rocky areas. But then again I want to avoid using this around the rocks because I don't want to get it snagged and you know risk snapping it off, but this will be more than capable of landing any um, edibles edibles on the um, the surf, plus handle all the sharks or the rays if possible. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to see how these two rods will cast out, and I'm pretty sure they'll cast out pretty far. Now the other item, as a bonus, is this scale. I've always been really curious to see how heavy my fish are, so this will be. A good apparatus to have. It's a battery run scale, but really, I never used a battery run scale before, so this would be really good to use. And the finger guard. Now, whenever I cast, I always use my index finger, but every time I, well, whenever I do cast hard, it does hurt, but this will help to protect the finger. And it shows the instruction on how to put it on as well. So this will be good for long distance casting. Excellent combo to use. Also, let's not forget the hat. My bowser. So yeah, thank you to Bowser. Thank you to Daniel who has sent me all of this amazing piece of equipment. And I really look forward to um, putting this out to test. I have already used one of the um, Bowser rod that Daniel had already sent me, which is the Pier rod, and it works really good. So, looking forward to um, seeing this in action. And yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure to look at bowser.co.nz and also follow Bowser on Facebook or Instagram. And yeah. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more interesting stuff or learn a thing or two. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.